Why I'm here is because I want to show support for the steel workers and for, for everybody, all the nurses, on the UNAC, everybody. We're, we're all one family. Kaiser made $2.2 billion in COVID during the COVID last year. They can afford to pay us more. We worked shorthanded. We worked through this COVID. We did extra duty. We, we went outside of our scope to help out. And this is the thanks that they show us. Well, I'm a single mom and uh, I own my own house and I have to make ends meet. So I have to stand up for what's right. Last year was really rough. Uh, my family can definitely attest to that. While these people are sitting behind the desk trying to make concessions that we don't care for, uh, we're here to stand up for that and make sure that they, they hear us and they know that we're ready to fight for whatever we, we need to get. LA County, uh, they get paid more. Orange County gets paid more. And, um, you know, we do the exact same job. And Inland Empire is becoming just as expensive. And, you know, it's not fair that they get more, more pay than we do. And we do the exact same job. You know, we're so understaffed, shortages in our department. Um, you know, what we went through the pandemic, going above and beyond, uh, something that was all new to us, but we stepped up to the plate. Uh, we did what we had to do for our patients, for our company. We feel we deserve a fair car a contract. So today we say to Kaiser, don't just talk about it, be about it! We have made personal sacrifices and we have taken on the risk. Our families have taken on that same risk. And despite this, shift after shift, day after day, month after month, we continue to answer the call to provide the best care to every patient that came to Kaiser Permanente. That is worth equal pay. It's the right thing to do in Kaiser Permanente. It's time to do the right thing. So we are not alone in our calls for Kaiser to pay our members fairly. For more on this, the Secretary Treasurer of the National AFL CIO and USW International Vice President Fred Redman is joining us. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Is there any healthcare workers in the house? In the second quarter of this year, this company raked in $2 billion. Think about that. $2 billion in a single quarter. And it sits on 44 million, I'm, I'm sorry, 44 billion. Billion with a B. 44 billion in reserves. Each and every one of you are indeed heroic. And you should be treated like heroes. You should be compensated and respected like the heroes that you are. You know, what Kaiser is proposing is an insult to each and every one of you and to this profession. All across the country, healthcare professionals are overworked, under-respected, and struggling, struggling to continue in a profession that they love. Yet Kaiser is acting like you are just the cost, a number against their bottom line. And this way of thinking not only hurt workers, but it hurts the patients that you serve. You know, the labor movement has been fighting for equal pay for equal work since the beginning of time. Equal pay for equal work. It's a fairly straightforward concept. But for years, Casa Permanente has paid different rates to workers doing the exact same job, particularly in the service jobs. And a lot of them are my brother and sister steel workers. They are overwhelmingly held, these positions at 7,600, are overwhelmingly held by people of color. Well, brothers and sisters, let me just say this. First of all, the two-tier proposal is a non-starter. But look, they've picked the wrong fight with the wrong union at the wrong time. And is this what Kaiser wants? 
Well, if this is what they want, then we will give them a fight, not just with workers in California or healthcare workers, but with the entire labor movement. We cannot let them divide us. We won't let them sell out our future because you deserve better. Your patients deserve better. And there's nothing, there is nothing that we can't do when we stand together. Brothers and sisters, let's go forward and win. Solidarity today, solidarity tomorrow, and solidarity forever. Thank you, brothers and sisters.